dear friends it is my absolute privilege to share today with you google patents so let's get started i will uh, take you through the very basics of google patent starting from locating where is google patents and using some very simple searches so let's get started so open any browser of your choice i have chosen uh, uh, safari but you can choose any browser and then just type https in the colon and then patents dot google dot com simple and then hit the enter button so what i will do is we'll start from scratch we will in fact look at how can we search using very simple let's say uh, searching uh, patent numbers okay let's get started with patent numbers so i am going to type here let's say for us patent i want to find out let's say take any random number just type it here us is united states and then any random number and you get the patent simple right now let us uh, briefly examine this page as you type this number us 234387 you will get the corresponding patent okay so this patent was in fact it is mentioned here this is the patent number this is the patent title and then if i click on download pdf i'll get the actual patent document that was granted and this goes way back to 1880 so feel free to explore this document you can go down see the full description right at the bottom you would also be able to see the claims so this is a typical example of the patent so let's go back so once i go here and click on google patents it will take me back to the home page okay now let's try something else i have gone back to the uh, search text box now let's try typing tesla and tesla here is not the uh, yeah i think it's actually the inventor but yes let's hit tesla let's see it has you can see this is the search results page you can explore this as well now i am just interested in tesla the inventor now let's see if i can go back to the home page and uh, redo the search it's giving me an option of tesla the assignee let's uh, hit that tesla the assignee okay again it is now showing me tesla motors okay so tesla motors these are the patents filed by tesla motors what if i want to check the original tesla you know the inventor the great inventor well then i need to type in this box which i have highlighted here the tesla okay and then i am going to remove it from the assignee assignee is the company but i want the tesla the inventor right now you can see here that it is tesla the inventor so let's hit search okay so it's gone back to so i am still getting uh, some thomas lev tesla which is not really my interest i am interested in nikola tesla yeah and art of transmitting electrical energy through the natural mediums so these are some of the path breaking inventions of the last century 
okay so this is how you can use google patents to search the patent number if you are aware of it or if you know the inventor or the assignee assignee is nothing but the company or just type a few keywords to locate patents on some specific technologies what if i am interested in let's say a drone which can fetch me a cold beverage right which can deliver me cold beverage let's hit the search button what do we get about 751 results not bad the first one the first uh, patent here talks of package delivery mechanism in an unmanned aerial vehicle so although i have hit or given the ter search term as drone you can see there is the title of this patent talks of an unmanned aerial vehicle so which means they are using certain terminologies to define the drone technology okay let us glance through this search results page this is called as the search results page and let's glance through and see what are some of the other results second one substrate with lighting effect doesn't seem like a patent of interest for us distributed manufacturing maybe energy aware wireless power i think no i don't think these are relevant uav routing and data extraction maybe because uav remember is unmanned aerial vehicle which is nothing but a drone so where so i mean i i have quite a few unrelevant or unrelated uh, hits here so what do we do i would like to draw your attention on this page on the left hand left side you have this uh, boxes here you know these boxes give you more options to modify your search okay so let's do one thing the drone as we see here can be defined using multiple words different words can define the same concept so let's expand our drone and similarly each of the search term here cold and the beverage and the delivery okay so the second box is my cold okay cold then i can see i can type a synonym for cold which could be like let's say chill or even refrigerate oops yeah it's refrigerate hope the spelling is correct then third one is my beverage okay and call it as a drink as well right a drink last one is my deliver a synonym synonym for that a very common one could be transport now let me delete these terms and further expand of course the drone drone can be called by terms like uav which is nothing but unmanned aerial vehicle i will also define that unmanned aerial vehicle okay simple so what have i done here so i have quite simply expanded each of the search concept that is drone the synonyms for drone comes here and then cold and then beverage and then deliver so once i do this if you remember now i have 4940 results not bad if you remember we started from 740 and now we are at 4940 that's expanding my search now what could you possibly do with these patents with this 4940 it looks like a big set 
one thing you could do is just download these results. If I hit this download button, oh, it's already downloaded. Let's see what has been downloaded. So 851 KB file. So this is what you get. This is a spreadsheet which contains the patent results. Although it doesn't give you all the details downloaded here, but you definitely get to see the title of the invention or the patent and then the patent number and then you have I think the assignee, the inventor and there are some uh, dates here but there is also the result link. If I click on this, I think it will take me to the particular page. So I can go to that page and have a look at that particular patent. Isn't this cool? And at no cost. This is absolutely free. Okay. Let's go back to our Google patent search page. Now, I am getting a feel here. Drone UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle. For these, I have got about 4940 results. Obviously, these may not be a complete or a comprehensive list. The drone itself might be defined using many, many, many other terms. Is there a way to identify the patents which I have not got in this search result? Let's see that. To get those additional keywords which define either one of these search concepts be it drone or cold beverage or delivery of them. Let's get into one of the patent to see if we can get any additional clue from this patent. This obviously looks like a relevant patent for us because it's talking of package delivery mechanism in an unmanned aerial vehicle. It looks right bang on target for our search interest. Let's look at classification. What is classification and why should we be interested in this? So now imagine if somebody has written their patent using words like let's say robot or automated aerial vehicle. In fact, I was able to see earlier an Amazon patent which didn't use the word drone or UAV but it still defined the same concept of drone. Now, how do we get these patents? For that, we have this classification. Classification gives, you know, basically normalizes patents irrespective of what uh, terminology or words they have used. So if you see here B64 C2201 slash 108 is a code, it's a code which talks of unmanned aerial vehicles. Right? So basically if any patent not using drone but still talks of UAV, there is a good chance that it will be classified under this classification. Okay, so which means uh, has it really solved our problem completely? Are we now in full control of our search? Not really. If you see, although we were able to identify some classifications. The number of classifications are mind-blowing, you know, they are huge. Although, if you can locate a relevant patent and identify some of these classifications, you could use them in your search, but that's a lot of complex searching, right? I mean, you don't want to do a lot of complex searching. But I am giving you a hint 
the way of really expanding your search to get all those important results now is there a problem still with the classification let's see that now of course for drone we were able to identify one classification there could be multiple classifications one for let's say the military technology or one for non military commercial uses now okay drone i think we got some hang of it now something like cold or in fact beverage getting a classification is very difficult it's an abstract word people could use low temperature uh, they could define temperature ranges um, and even for beverage it could be a drink um, a liquid you could use lot of different terminologies to define this sometimes inventors and their patent attorneys use very clever language to coax or to hide the technology or the invention so although classifications tend to help you in making your search broader getting in more results but they are complex and many times you may not find uh, relevant classifications and the number of classification is just huge it's enormous okay let me summarize uh, google patents first we had a look at uh, where to go and get started so just typing patents.google.com you are able to um, basically uh, reach the site and then we saw how to search patent numbers i gave some random numbers right something like this to get the so as simple as just typing them in the text box and then we saw that inventor name can be can be typed okay similarly assignee assignee is nothing but the company name so we saw tesla and then we actually went into searching technologies which is actually the meat of any uh, search we took an example of drone that can fetch you a cold beverage okay so we saw this and then finally what i would like to say is for certain things like obtaining the patent number or inventor name based on that it's very easy to use google patent and it is very very useful however the watch out is when you are doing a keyword search it is important to expand your keywords so that you get all those patents which are relevant to your search request here lies the challenge to expand the search you need more classifications but classification tend to get complex but nevertheless google patent is a very useful tool a good starting point for you to enter the world of patents and get started in terms of exploring the patents so i wish you the very best for your um, you know journey into the world of patents and i look forward to Uh, sharing a lot of more uh, interesting st uh, stuff in the coming days bye bye